Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and this is something I am extremely excited to talk to you guys about. So, basically, if you guys don't know, um, on Twitter, on Twitter, a Forza employee actually got asked a question about wheel offset and the drift suspension and basically the fact of how you can slam your car. Now, with that being the case, once you install the drift suspension, he states... That you can, and by the way, his name's John. I'm not going to call him just he throughout this entire video. John said that you could actually adjust your car's wheel offset for, between a few different predetermined settings um, once you put the drift suspension on your car. Now, this is absolutely just, this is monstrously huge. This is so insanely huge that I am surprised that it's just something that he said just kind of randomly on Twitter because... This has been something that the community has wanted for years. Just act literal years. Like, we have been asking for this and wanting this for so long. And they're finally doing it. That, I mean, I am like, dude. Like, uh, Mr. ROH on HD on Twitter, for example, was like, I am aroused. And I was like, dude, there's, there's, honestly, it's, it's one of those things where you can't help but get a little excited. Because... Honestly, the ability to adjust your car's offset in Forza is just going to be so, so like it's going to be such a breakthrough that you're you're going to find you're going to find the the customization capabilities opened up to so many different things now. It's just going to be mental, absolutely wild what you're going to be able to do customization wise now, and we'll actually literally be able to make our perfect cars um, with a lot of these cars because a lot of the cars, a lot of the cars, to be honest, like. You can't get the wheel offset right, and so you can't make your cars, like, perfect the way you want them. But with this, with this, we will literally be able to set our cars up exactly the way we want them. And you can actually say exactly now, because, you you know, once you, once you get your perfect wheel set up on there, you can set that offset to exactly what you want it to be. Which completely eliminates the whole issue of, like, yeah, it's close, but the wheel offset is wrong. We don't have to think about that anymore. And that's just insane, the fact that they've actually made it so that you don't have to think about that anymore. I mean, think about how many, think about how many, you know, how many builds now are going to look insanely better because we have the ability to adjust the offset. I mean, that is just ridiculous. Now, they did say that there would be, ah, uh, yeah, I cut that drift because there was nobody there. Or, well, there wasn't necessarily that there was nobody there, but there was nobody in the spot that I, wa that I, uh, that I went to, but the line had somebody else in it. So I kind of had to cut that drift short. But anyways, moving on, he also did say that they would reveal more about this, obviously, as time goes on. But, I mean, dude, this has got to be one of the biggest, like, I wouldn't even call it a reveal, but, like, one of the biggest, one of the biggest feature reveals um, I've ever seen for a Forza game. I mean, the thing is, every Forza from this point forward better have this from the get-go because honestly like number one if it doesn't have it from the get-go I people are gonna be disappointed but but you're gonna make so many people happy with this it's just insane you're gonna make so many people in the community happy like I don't even I don't even know if they know right now I, I completely threw that first corner because I wanted to keep my overall combo but I don't think they even know right now how like how much the community is going to love them for finally bringing this you know, to the game and bringing it out as a thing, because to be honest, like, we've, like I said, it's just been some, it's just been one of those questions that has always been kind of like, not necessarily ignored, but like, it's one of those things where they're like, eh, we don't want to talk about that, you know what I mean? But now, not only are there, are they talking about it, they're, they're bringing it to the game. I mean, I never thought that Forza was going to get wheel offset adjustment. I never, ever, 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 ever thought, like, if you had asked me, like, yesterday, do you think Forza is going to have Wheel, like wheel offset adjustment at any point and I was like eh, realistically probably not because of like you know the way the game is made and everything like that and uh, they proved me wrong on that and I you know I was very happy to be proved wrong because dude I'll tell you something I'll tell you something like I'm all about having the ability to adjust your offset in Forza like I just me and like so many thousands and thousands and thousands of people have been wanting, uh, but millions of people probably have been wanting that feature to come to this series for so many years. It's not even, it, it's, it's unreal. 
It's unreal how many years I, we've wanted that feature to come to this series. And honestly, dude, like, you can't really, you can't really replace that with anything else. Y you can only, you can only add it to the game. You can't really, you couldn't really take that out and replace it with anything else because it's just like there's there's just that much behind it. You know what I mean? Like, there's that much of a community behind it that is gonna love it and is gonna use it every single time that they build a car. I mean, I, I guarantee you that once that update comes out. There's going to be people that will that will use that offset option on every single car that they build. And to be fair, I know a lot of people are going to probably freak out about the fact that right now it is limited to drift suspension. And while that does kind of suck, I mean, I would rather be grateful for the fact that it's here in Forza at all than gripe about the fact that it's only available for drift suspension. Because honestly, I feel like if there's enough demand for it, they would probably be able to add it to race suspension uh, as well. So, I mean... This is one of those things where it's like, dude, it's coming. I mean, and it's such a step in the right direction, not only for this game, but for this game's customization options. I mean, and of course, the first game to do this will be Motorsport 7, meaning that it is a feature that Horizon 4 is going to get. So do not hit me! Oh my god! Oh, that, that, uh, that gets me sometimes when that crap happens. But anyways, going back to what I was talking about beforehand, I'm, go I'm going off-roading. Yay, yay. But anyways, going back to what I was talking about before, if I could, like, drift my way back up out of the, like, the dirt, um, the whole, the whole topic with this is, like, honestly, it's, it's always been, like, kind of one of those, I don't want to say taboo type things, but it's always been one of those things that, like, you kind of, you kind of have to be careful who you mention it around, because, like, well, who you mention it around in the community, because, it, it sometimes starts an argument in the community like, Oh, they'll never do that! There's no... Whoa! Train. Alright, I'm turning around. But, like, it's one of those things that will sometimes start an argument, or at least used to, because people would be like, Oh, they're never gonna do that! There's no way! Stop talking about it! Stop thinking about it! They're never gonna do it! And guess what? They done went and did it! So, y'all can, uh... I don't know, y'all can think about that now, because they went and not only did it, but apparently they're doing it in a big way, because you have multiple, you not only have offset adjustment, you have multiple settings for which you can adjust, or with which, I should say, with which you can adjust your, off, your offset. So, honestly, I, I could not be more excited for this, for this update as a whole. I mean, I am going to be all over it, just building cars, like, dude, building, building cars, like, showing you guys the builds of cars. This is going to take drift builds to a whole new level. I mean, this this was literally, literally like the update that anybody that does drift builds dreamed of. Because with this, you can not only make a drift car, but if you, if you want to make like a show car and that's it, you can make a show car. I mean, like, you can literally do whatever you want with this setup. And I think that with that being said, I mean, it's just... <gasps> Woo! It's just opened up the game to so much more potential that I, I don't even, I, okay, I was like, I was about to be like, don't you dare, don't you dare, I don't even know if those count, ah, they do, ha ha, okay, um, 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 yeah, that score was gonna bank regardless, we were kinda stopped, completely stopped, dead in our tracks, but, dude, honestly, I don't think I've ever been more excited about seeing something about Forza on Twitter before, minus the Horizon 4 announcement. I mean, this is, because this is right up there with it in terms of announcements, because we knew Horizon 4 was going to happen. We all did. We didn't know this was going to happen, and I know that I'm a little bit more excited in this video than I am usually, but, like, I'm extremely animated right now because this has me so freaking pumped for that update, you guys don't even know, but... Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you enjoyed this topic and discussion, make sure to add to it in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.